Communicative Language Teaching, or CLT, is a teaching approach based on innateism and interactionism. In contrast to audiolingualism, in which the objective is to acquire forms and habits, it has communicative competence as its goal. Communicative competence is a term coined by Del Himes as a reaction to Noam Chomsky's overemphasis on acquiring grammar as a measure of acquiring a language. In other words, Chomsky asserts that by acquiring grammar, a language learner acquires a language. Himes disagrees, and insists that there is more to language learning than just acquiring the grammar. Simply put, communicative competence is knowing what to say, when to say it, and how. It involves linguistic competence, being able to use the structural aspects of a language including pronunciation, grammar and vocabulary. Sociolinguistic competence, being able to use language in a communicative situation. And discourse competence, being able to participate in conversations. But according to Professor Jack Richards, communicative competence also involves the following. Knowing how to use language for a range of different purposes and functions. For example, a learner needs to know how to politely ask for someone's advice, as well as accept, or reject it politely. Knowing how to vary our use of language according to the setting and the participants. For example, knowing when to use formal and informal speech, or when to use language appropriately for written, as opposed to spoken communication. Knowing how to produce, and understand different types of texts such as narratives, reports, interviews, and conversations. The way these different types of texts are produced may be different from the way they are done in English and other languages. Knowing how to maintain communication despite having limitations in one's language knowledge. For example, through using different kinds of communication strategies, such as placing different words together or asking questions for clarification. Communicative language teaching tries to produce learning by creating situations that promote the following processes. Interaction between the learner and users of the language. By interacting with users of the language, the learner acquires language skills that the learner cannot acquire on their own. Collaborative creation of meaning. In other words, given a situation, learners try to understand the situation by working together. Creating meaningful and purposeful interaction through language. The goal is not to acquire the form but to actually be able to use language to produce useful relationships. Negotiation of meaning as the learner and his or her interlocutor arrive at understanding. This interaction involves clarification. It involves making use of different strategies to be able to understand what the other speaker is trying to say as well as using strategies to be able to successfully express your own ideas and purposes. Learning through attending to the feedback learners get when they use the language. A learner can know if what he or she is saying is clear and understandable by paying attention to how others react. Paying attention to the language one hears, that is, the input and trying to incorporate new forms into one's developing communicative competence. This requires that the input is comprehensible to the learner. The input should also be in the right amount so that the learner can process it. And the learner should be in a good emotional state to do so. Trying out and experimenting with different ways of saying things. This is known as hypothesis testing. The learner tries to create sentences or utterances, and based on the feedback from others, makes the necessary adjustments to one's own speech. Role of the teacher. In CLT, instead of being the role model for the language, the teacher takes on the role of facilitator and monitor. Classroom Activities Under Communicative Language Teaching Two Kinds of Activities Under CLT there are two major kinds of activities. These are accuracy activities and fluency activities. According to Professor Richards, accuracy activities are characterized by the following. They reflect classroom use of language. They focus on the formation of correct examples of language. They practice language out of context. They practice small samples of language. They do not require meaningful communication. They control the choice of language. On the other hand, fluency activities are characterized by the following. They reflect natural use of language. They focus on achieving communication. They require meaningful use of language. They require the use of communication strategies. They produce language that may not be predictable. They seek to link language use to context. Another way to group activities in CLT is as mechanical, meaningful, or communicative activities. Mechanical practice refers to a controlled practice activity which students can successfully carry out without necessarily understanding the language they are using. Meaningful practice refers to an activity where language control is still provided but where students are required to make meaningful choices when carrying out practice. For example, students are given a street map and a set of prepositions. 
They are then asked a question such as, where is Julian's restaurant? The students have to answer using any appropriate preposition in the set given to them. Communicative practice refers to activities where practice in using language within a real communicative context is the focus, where real information is exchanged, and where the language used is not totally predictable. Needless to say, CLT involves a lot of task-based activities in which students have a specific objective to achieve using language. In addition, communicative language teaching emphasizes exposure to comprehensible input. This is input that learners can understand. Such input are just a little beyond the skills of the learners. This would have been I plus one for a specific learner, but since there are many learners in a class, the kind of input that must be provided is approximately I plus one in order to be useful for different learners. An ideal situation for CLT is interaction with more skilled individuals. In the case of language learning, these are individuals who are more proficient in the language. This is very similar to Lev Vygotsky's concept of social learning in which a more skilled individual helps a learner acquire the skills that the learner could not acquire by just working alone. In conclusion, communicative language teaching tries to build on the ideas and findings of proponents of innatism and interactionism by focusing on meaningful tasks in which learners make use of language to achieve communication objectives.